hello everyone welcome to the code one and uh, i'm gonna show you another project in hibernate so uh, this is the student management system again so we have already this project in jsp and servlet this time we are gonna build it in the hibernate only in the upcoming days we are gonna upload another video which will be completely on spring and hibernate so we have already in jsp and servlet this time this is only in hibernate and the next video in the next two days in, in, in some 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 days i'm gonna upload the same the concept in the spring and hibernate so whatever the technology you want over the java you can take that project accordingly so as i execute the project and let's see the uh, functionality how this is working this time i had more uh, functionalities before going to the login let's understand the role in the application so I just moved to the database as we are using the MySQL database here and uh, so uh, there will be three uh, role in the application the first role for the admin let's call it down okay so role ID 1 will be for the admin 2 will be for the student and 3 will be for the faculty so there is three uh, main uh, actor of the application the first one is admin student and faculty so this is a database in the database you can see the tables the assignment table attendance fees mark sheet role subject in the user the data with the, the, these tables will store data accordingly so let's understand the technology about the technology as we are using the complete mbc architecture uh, application is running on the tomcat server so as you can see here we are using the tomcat server is deploying the tomcat server and here is the hibernate configuration file we are configuring we are um, creating a session factory for the hibernate and we have separate uh, separate packages to handle se separate controller to handle the servlets beans exception model to handle the database activity and in under the src we are using jsp css javascript and jquery so as to run the project just right click on the project run and run on server automatically it will select the server this is tomcat 8.5 and deploy the application over the tomcat so now let's, let's log in as an admin so for the admin admin at the rate gmail password and you can see in the password it seems some um, encrypted form so we are using the encryption also so whenever the user is going to log in in the application and we'll get the uh, if the password is encrypted and stored in the database so let's log in with the admin first so i'm going to say is he log in as admin and what admin can do so admin can add assignments admin can add any subject admin can add uh, attendance admin can add a new user admin can add a fees detail so these are the options which admin can perform so if i'm gonna show you one by one it will take a long time so this detail i'm gonna say in, um, check some easy option so for example add a subject and add assignment for the subject so as an admin i'm gonna add a subject subject name is java and get the description this is testing okay so i'm gonna save it data is saved successfully now i'm gonna add a assignment for the subject so java is here assignment title date of the assignment so the month will come first 02 and 12 19 2020 assignment file so enter the file here in the description i'm gonna okay. go and save so assignment is added successfully now similarly you can add the uh, add assignment is done and subject is done you can add attendance for any student so all the subject will be there according to the subject you can add the attendance actually so there is the current student in the database so showing the name so for java for for example for the java particular i'm gonna uh, add the attendance for this student i'm gonna enter the date the lecture title and description and all save now check the reporting parts so most important part is the reporting part so admin reports so whatever the admin in the application the report will show here and the second thing under the report we have a student report teachers report which means the faculty reports assignment reports attendance reports 
subject reports, market city reports, market city merit report, and fee report. So let's check the student report. So it will show all the data of the student available in the database. So right now we have two data, and I'm gonna enter and search the data according to the like I'm gonna search data by email. So I just showing you the function it is working. So click on the search. The data is filtered there. See if I want to edit this data, I, want, I can easily edit this. I just need to update the data here. For example, I want to edit this one. So I click on save. Data is saved successfully. I can check the report. It was a student, I guess. Yes, so address is updated. And the line 2 address is updated, which will not showing here. So uh, similarly, you can view the report for the assignments, whatever the assignment you provide to the student the, according to the subject and uh, the subject report also there as well as the mark sheet report so whatever the mark sheet is available in the database if you want to add a mark sheet you have to add uh, a mark sheet can a marks can add by the by the faculty will she after login as a faculty so this is my profile from the admin side so admin can edit his own profile also so now just log out and log in as a faculty so i'm gonna log out it uh, log in as a faculty so as well as faculty at the rate gmail.com take the same password Um, before login as an a faculty we have to uh, add a faculty here because because we are using the password in encryption form so i can check then the database the exact password so i'm gonna add a new user here as admin so faculty faculty name fac and i'm gonna enter some dummy data login id is fac at the gmail.com and the password is demo at the rate one two three demo at the rate one two three the first letter will be capital over the password this is the 10 digit mobile number for the faculty it's like the gender here and then to the main into <coughs> the data parts so like 08 08 1992 the email address again I'm gonna repeat the same email address here and enter the country the state and the city here and the line one address and the line two address let's click on the save so add this successfully so now let's switch to the login page and login as a faculty so password was demo at the rate one two three so it's logged in successfully now let's check the database about the new record so i'm gonna refresh this page and let's refresh it and check the new entry here which is this one the first one and no i guess I Okay, let's check the user table. Yes, so the same table is there. So you can check the new faculty at the gmail uh, dot com is already there. The next one. I think I'm checking the wrong database. okay so now you can see the demo at the rate the confirm password is there and you can check the complete database over there so the new record is there 
so just gonna log in it and what our faculty can do now so a faculty can add assignments add subject add attendance add marks is same way and the admin can perform these operations it can add a mark sheet also so if you want to add some mark sheet like select the uh, student name into the roll number and all the detail and for the report section uh, faculty can view the assignment report attendance report subject report mark sheet report and the mark sheet list now let's log in as a student and check the detail so now this time i can log in the student from here also so the student gmail at the gmail.com will be the password sorry the login id and the password will be is 2 at the rate 1 2 3 so log in it okay done so get my student can uh, get the mass it you need to enter his uh, roll number and the uh, administrator and, and, and the what as administrator it can subject can check the subject list review the um, my attendance like you can check his attendance and the assignments so get mass it let's see the view of the mass it if i can able to find it so the mass it and i need a roll number here so i'm going to copy this roll number so it will help me to view the mark sheet over there so i enter the roll number and you can see the mark sheet beautiful mark sheet is there a uh, student can check that rather than all the details here so thank you so much for watching if you want this project you can check the link in the description box it's a pet project and it's not that much high price so it's 809 dr just check it and uh, if you want it you can mail me my team will uh, contact you within an hour and we'll provide the configuration at your machine also if uh, the, the very first step we'll share the source code with you and um, we'll share some video tutorials to configure that project at your machine in case you stuck somewhere then we'll connect with you remotely and do it by us so so keep learning thank you so much for watching and if you like the code one please subscribe and keep keep in touch to explore your coding thank you